Oblivion is a very easy game to break, so in this video I'm going to go over some of my favourite ways to break this game. It's beautiful in how many ways it can be broken. Let's uh, let's break her in, I guess. So to get us started, I've just made this beautiful looking high elf, and I mean who could turn him down? I wouldn't turn him down. So we're starting off at level 1, and we're going straight for Kvatch. Jeez, I hope it hasn't been torn down while I've been away. So we need to make our way through this Oblivion Gate and get to the tower. I think it's called a uh, Trump Tower. So we're going to need a particular sigil stone that comes with Chameleon. And this is going to take a few tries. So yeah, you're probably going to be here for a while. It took me about 40 tries of saving and reloading to finally get it. And now we just go to the Imperial City. Alright, so this is where the fun begins. Now you probably already know about duplication, but just in case you don't, I'm going to go over it real quick. It's simple, right? Listen up. P put away the phone. Put away that phone now. Make sure you have two scrolls, uh, and then double click on the three scrolls, and then drop any other scroll. And then boom, you'll have two. Three. And you can keep doing that until you get an ungodly amount of scrolls. And if you make too many scrolls, just sell the rest. Easy gold. The only rule is that you can't duplicate scrolls with the same number, so you can't take two scrolls and then drop another set of two scrolls. It just doesn't work that way. Don't do it or else your dog will die. He's gone, Declan. And now we can duplicate items, which means we're going to take a lovely little trip to the ice cream man just outside the Imperial City. Oh, here he is. And much to our parents' disappointment, we're going to engage in some hard drugs. And you know exactly where I'm going with this. Shkuma for days, lads. Oh, <laughs> my life is sad. And then as we try to run away from our problems, from a self-induced skooma addiction, we're going to tackle my favourite exploit in this game. And all we need to do is just go back to the Imperial City. I don't know why I just went on that skooma tangent. And we start duplicating our sigil stones. And here we do what's called the attribute glitch, which means I'm going to put the enchantment of chameleon onto these rings. And then if I duplicate the rings, equip one, duplicate the other, and drop the one I'm not wearing, we now have 10% chameleon, even when we're not wearing the ring. Would you look at that? We only have about 10% chameleon, so we're gonna need to do this exploit 9 more times to get to 100%. And when we get to 100%, we're completely invisible. And I mean completely. Like, no one's going to even know what we're doing. No one's gonna see where we are. You can attack anyone you want, and they won't know it's you. You can steal whatever you want. You can just kill whoever you want. The only thing though is that this effect is permanent, you're not going to be able to get it off, so you're just going to be 100% invisible for like the entire game unless you like load a save or something. So I took a little trip to the Arcane University, and in the Arcane University there's some soul gems that we can take. I'm going to take the grand soul gem and steal it because no one can see me. The only difficult part is the very hard lock, which uh, might be a bit of a problem, but you can just duplicate your lockpicks. Problem solved. And with those grand soul gems, I'm going to sell them. We're going to buy a very special staff with this. and. With that very special staff, we could take a visit to Umbra. Now, if you don't know, Umbra is just off the waterfront. And since she can't see us, that means we can attack her. But if we attack her with, like, basic weapons, it's not going to do much damage. And with the staff, we can do mad damage to Umbra. Like, we can just destroy her in a couple of hits. Now, she will try to run away, and she runs really fast. So, you know, tr try and get her quickly. But yeah, that's it for the chameleon exploit. And our next trip is right to the arena. No, not that arena. That arena was horrible. And what we want to do is talk to my man Owen. I don't know who you are. Granny, you what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you. My granny could beat you and she's filthy. All right. It's your funeral. Welcome to the arena. Granny. Now let me give you your battle ring. Here, wear it proudly and keep it in filthy condition, would you? Maggot. And now that we're finished with that lovely chat with Owen, we're going to go up to the arena. Now you're probably going to want to go with the light raiment for this, because we're going to need to jump high. And here's the trick. If you go up and go to the right, you can jump on this ledge. Now the reason we took the light raiment is because it's kind of difficult to jump up here, and you can jump higher with light armor. In this case, the, the yellow team helped hit me in. And what you want to do when you land this side is try and land on this stair that's kind of clipped. And once you do that, you can just attack the yellow team. They can't hit you. But you can hit them. So yeah, you can do this with every single fight. All you need is a bit of acrobatics. And that's it for the arena exploit. You earned it. Do you remember horse armor? I remember horse armor. I remember it very well. And we're going to buy some horse armor because I've actually never done that before. Now this is going to be the last exploit of the video. And we're going to need a horse for this. And this is probably my favorite glitch, I guess. Would you look at that? A lovely horse with some horse armor. So we're going to take this horse and we're going to go down to one of the way shrines. And what you want to do is align your horse so that the way shrine spell hits it. And once it does, you'll be going 
blindingly fast, like stupid fast. And since we're invisible, you can't even see the rider. So you'll just be going fast on an invisible horse. And yeah. That's all. Oblivion is beautiful, and in this video I've detailed some of my favourite ways to break the game. So lads, if you enjoyed, let me know. I put a lot of work into this, so uh, a like and a sub is much appreciated. And let me know your favourite exploits in this game, because there's plenty more. And let me know if you want me to break any other games, because we can do that. So lads, cheers, and I'll, I'll talk to you in the next one. Maggot.